In this video, we will learn how to load a text file in pandas. Let's import pandas. This is my text file and this file contains five columns. First, second, third, fourth and fifth. To load this text file, first of all, I need to find the location of this file. And this file is saved on my desktop. Let's go to my desktop first. This is the file and the file name is iris underscore tab. To get the location of this file, you have to right click. Go to properties. And from here, you have to copy the location. Here you can see location is written here. Copy this path of the location. Click on OK. Now let's go to the Jupyter Notebook. Here I'll make one variable df. And now from pandas, I will call the function read underscore table pd dot read underscore table. Inside this in single quotes or double quotes, I will paste the location of the file. This is the location of the file which I have just copied. And you have to make sure that instead of one slash, you have to put double slash here. So I'll put one more slash. And after this put two slash and you have to type your file name as I have shown you my file name is iris underscore tab. You can see here iris underscore tab. So I will type iris underscore tab and now you have to also give the file extension name. So for text file it is dot txt txt. Now let's run this line. We have successfully imported our text file and saved in the variable df. Let's check top 5 rows. So I will type df.head. This head function will give us the top 5 rows and we can see here these are the top 5 rows and these are the 5 columns 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We can also look at the bottom 5 rows. We have to use the method tell. We will say df dot tail in the output you can see that we have got bottom five rows and the row numbers are 145 146 147 148 and 149 we can also check the shape of our data frame we will type df dot shape in the output you can see that we got 150 and 5 because 150 stands for rows and 5 stands for columns there are 150 rows and 5 columns in our data frame. The next method we can check is column names. In this data frame you can see that there are 5 columns and if you want to print the column names we can use the method columns. We will say df.columns. Columns is not a method but it is an attribute that's why we are not using curly brackets. In the output, you can see that we have got the column names, sepal length, sepal width, petal length, petal width and class. These are the column names. As I have said that columns is an attributes. That's why we are not using square brackets here. But when we were using this tail, we were using square bracket because tail is a function and columns is an attribute. Even shape is an attribute. So that's why we are not using square brackets here we can also check the data type of each column we will use df dot d types in the output you can see that we have got information about each and every column sepal length is of floor 64 sepal width floor 64 petal length floor 64 petal width floor 64 and class is an object class is an object because it is a string and we can verify that you can see that in class variable we have string and in rest of the columns we have numbers that's why we got float 64 for rest of the columns and for class we got object we can also look at the other information of our data frame we will say df dot info and this is a method so we will use curly brackets here 
in the output you can see that we have got some nice information about our data frame such as the class of our data frame is pandas.code.frame.data frame range index it tells us there are total 150 entries that is 150 rows and rows start from 0 to 149 and we can verify that in head function we can see that the starting of row is from 0 and in tail function we can see that the last row number is 149 that's why we got range index as 0 to 149 then we have data columns there are total five columns then we have given some description about columns null non-null count and d type in column we have all the column names in non-null count we have how many rows are not null so in each and every column all the rows are not null so that's why we got non-null here and these are the data types of each and every column for sepal length it is float 64 and for class it is object this video was about how to load a text file in pandas i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching